Hi, everyone. Uh, Bill Johnson, Athletic Director here at Talmadge High School. I um, want to welcome you to our fall sports uh, parent meeting. Um, thank you all for, for taking a few minutes here to watch this. Uh, I promise I will try to keep this down, but I uh, just want to make sure we go over some of the essentials um, like we do every single year. Um, first of all, I'm very fortunate that this year um, all of our head coaches, there was no turnover in our head coaches this year um, in our fall sports. So um, they are all listed here. Um, you uh, will have a a copy of this PowerPoint um, as well. So you can go through it if you need anybody's email. Um, we also have a new trainer this year um, for the fall. She came in um, just after winter last season, um, Emily McCowan. Um, and uh, she has done an awesome job for us taking over for Lori. Um, I have put on her email address and she also said to put her cell phone. A lot of times that's the easiest way to get a hold of her. So um, if any of your athletes are going through any issues or you have any questions for our trainer, uh, please feel free to reach out to Emily. Um, some sad news, I guess. Um, good for him, bad for us. Dr. Bactel um, has told us that uh, uh, this winter will be his last um, uh, as as our team doctor as he is uh, retiring um, and moving. So uh, very, uh, very sad to see him go, but also um, excited for him and what his future is. And also um, just so appreciative of everything he's, he's done for us um, over the many years. Our Booster Club president, um, Eric Tadgerhurst, um, be on the lookout as he will be sending stuff out um, that in regards to uh, booster stuff. Um, they will be having the programs uh, at the football games, uh, as well as be on the lookout for um, yard signs that they will be selling. Uh, those will be uh, should be out by the end of this week. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Um, please support the Booster Club whenever you get a chance. They uh, over the last you know, three years that I've been sitting in this seat, they've donated over a hundred thousand dollars to, um, uh, for our athletes, for equipment and, and uniforms. And, um, they do a really good job. So I want to thank them as we get into it. Just want to uh, go over, you know, you'll have all this information in your PowerPoint. Um, did want to point out, we do have a new, um, athletic secretary, uh, Ruth Ann Francis. Um, she, uh, joins us after Margaret retired. So, um, I'm very excited to have Ruth Ann. She's doing a great job. Um, if you have any questions like normal, feel free just to give her a call or, or shoot her an email. I uh, just wanted to go over some final forms. Um, as we have started the fall season, um, everybody needs to have a physical done. No coaches um, to allow kids to participate um, on the on the field without a, without a physical. Um, so those are pretty much all done. We're, we're cleaning up a very few of them. I do want to thank you all for, for getting those physicals in. Um, but the final forms, which would be these two uh, slots here, which is your signatures um, and your student signature. So um, after this Friday, um, if they are not completed, we will start holding students out of participation starting next week. So um, we got to make sure we get all of those signed so they can participate here for the fall. Um, it's it will be all of your um, your emergency medical forms, your extracurricular code of conduct, uh, your OHSA eligibility form, concussion waiver, sudden cardiac. Um, all of those replaced what was on your physical packet. Um, so the physical now is basically all you need is those two pages from the doctor and then everything else is on your final form. So um, the quicker you can do that if you haven't done that um, is very appreciative from us. Uh, athletic fees. Um, so those will be, um, they have not changed. Um, we're $75 per sport with a $100 cap and $250 family cap at the high school level. And then at the middle school level, it's 40 per sport and $80 individual or family cap. Um, these will be put into your easy pay account, um, which will be probably sometime around the 1st of September. Um, Ruth Ann is uh, uh, working on that process as well. So it could be a touch delayed um, more than normal. Um, but we usually go back through it to we finalize all of our rosters once game starts, games start, and we put that in there um, uh, September 1st or so. Our code of conduct. Um, I will be going over the code of conduct with all athletes. I will be having an all-athlete meeting um, the second week of school um, where I will be going over the code of conduct with Officer Dornack and just uh, have, uh, asking anybody any questions they may have um, obviously we know participation, um, in, in sports and extracurriculars is a privilege. Um, and we ask that, uh, they represent our school and our community, um, with the utmost respect. Um, one thing I do want to point out, and, and it's what I've seen over the last few years is just, if you can just, you know, really communicate with them about, 
uh, social media and how social media can um, can cause some issues. Um, and, you know, our coaches are working with them on that too. Um, but that's where I've seen a lot of the code of conduct issues. So um, just ask you to, to talk to them a lot about that. Um, I don't want to see anybody have to miss any time. Um, so the more we can all band together and make sure that uh, all of our athletes are, are representing our community the right way, uh, it's very appreciative. Um, eligibility. Uh, our eligibility um, is a 1.25 uh, per grading period. So um, every quarter. So for instance, we are using the fourth quarter uh, grades for this uh, uh, first fall uh, semester or fall um, eligibility period. Um, so 1.25 and you cannot have more than two Fs. Um, also just want to reiterate, um, this is something I talked to all the students about as well. Um, our guidance counselors are awesome, but it's always great to double check, um, especially with the new CCP. Every, a lot of people are taking CCP and, and using CTE classes and going out in sixth district um, that you have five one credit course classes um, to be eligible. You have to have that. So um, just make sure that if they're an athlete, that they're checking with their guidance counselor, and making sure they have uh, the minimum requirement of classes um, and then also uh, maintaining that GPA. Absences. Um, so, you know, students are expected to be in school. Um, we ask that athletes, you know, take, take care of school first. Um, we know that athletics is a huge part of, of their everyday life, but um, we also need them to be a student first. So um, if a chronic issue arises and we start seeing, you know, uh, multiple absences, uh, we will address it on an individual basis and be calling in that student and probably making a phone call home. Um, if you have any questions about um, absences, please don't hesitate to call me. Um, obviously, we understand that there are um, there are many reasons for absences, and we're willing to work with you. Um, we just want to make sure that the students are, are put in school first whenever they can. Some miscellaneous information for you. Um, transportation slip. So this is our board policy. Um, that they need to ride the bus to and from events unless there is some sort of um, issue or something going on that they need to um, either ride home with their parents or um, take themselves home. We ask that they fill out this transportation slip. It is here in this PowerPoint. It is also on our website um, under the More tab. Um, it is fantastic if you can get that to me within the 24-hour notice. Um, if you can't, um, if you could please email it to me before they leave. Um, we have to have something in writing or they cannot they cannot leave without going on the bus. Um, our medication form is for overnight trips. Um, I don't think we have any scheduled uh, for the fall as of yet, but if that comes up, um, I will have more information to you out in the individual sport that's leaving. Um, fall is usually pretty good about cancellation of events. Obviously, we get some rainouts um, with tennis, um, and we can get some rainouts and thunder and lightning with soccer. Um, we do our best to try to communicate uh, with you on X, uh, Twitter. Um, on our Remind and on Final Forms, and our coaches will also be putting that stuff out. If for some reason there's ever a cancelization of school, um, uh, then high school will decide if we're going to practice um, after 12 o'clock that day, um, and middle school is always canceled, whether that's a game or a practice. Um, individual player banners, I know I've talked to most team parents about this. Um, the, the parents are, are responsible for that. Um, if you want that hung up in the um, gym, in the uh, stadium, or you want it, um, you know, on the tennis courts or wherever you may want it. If you have a representative, bring those banners in. Um, uh, to me, I will make sure they get up. Um, the sooner the better, because um, it, it does take a while to get all those up. So um, if you have any questions on that, please feel free to contact me. Um, our ticket prices. Uh our ticket prices are staying the exact same as they were last year, um, $8 for adults and $4 for students online. Um, it is 10 and 5 at the gate. Um, that uh, All of our passes stayed the exact same prices. Um, there's a chance that that's going to raise in the future, but so we wanted for one more year to make sure we stayed everything the same. Um, I would tell you that the scan passes are the way to go. Um, you save money, um, especially on the $20 and $30 passes. Um, you're saving a good amount, thirty to fifty dollars on those. If you go to a lot of games here at Talmadge, and um, even if you, you know, are going to a football game and you have, you know, four people coming in, 
um, you know, a 20 scan pass, you could buy that and put, you could scan all four of them, um, those five home games that we have. So um, it's worth it on a lot of different levels. If you have any questions about our ticketing, um, please check out our website. We have all of our ticketing prices um, under the more tab um, in um, our um, office and um, on our website. And uh, so please check that out. And then I've, I've uh, attached the um, the ticket link um, so you can buy your passes and buy your single game pat, uh, tickets. All of our games, all of our game tickets will um, go up one week before the game is, is going live. Parent concerns. I know all of our coaches um, are asked to have a coaches or a parent meeting. Um, I know that um, most of them have had that already. If they haven't, they are going to. Um, the only thing that I ask is that, um, you know, you please have, have your son or daughter um, contact the head coach first um, with any concerns. And then, um, you know, obviously we try to observe the 24 hour rule. So um, please, you know, if you have any concerns after that, feel free to contact me. But if you contact me, the first thing I'm going to ask is, have you talked to the head coach? So, um, you know, I appreciate uh, your, your um, ability to do all of these steps first. And then lastly, um, obviously, you know, we're, we're going through um, a little bit of a referee shortage, shortage. So I just ask that, you know, you respect the game, um, come there and root for our team and don't root against others. And please, you know, do your best to not get angry at the officials. Um, I don't really want to kick anybody out of games. I know they don't either. Um, but I'm, I'm just asking that you do your part um, and we'll do our part to make sure that we get good officials in here. Um, and I ask that you please just, you know, um, try to be respectful of all of our game workers, um, as well as our officials and our teams on both sides. So I really appreciate that. With that being said, um, if you have any questions at all, uh, please don't hesitate to contact the athletic office. Shoot me an email, um, call my office, and, and we'll, we'll help you out with whatever you need. Um, we are looking forward to an awesome fall season. Um, some teams have already started, um, and we can't wait to see what the fall will hold. Go Blue Devils!